Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to switch to normal keyboard layout. You can try English US keyboard layout. So at the bottom right here, you can see the keyboard layout. You can select English English United States over here and then try to relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Re-enable graphics card in device manager. Make a right in the start menu and then go to device manager. Now expand display adapter. Now over here you will see your discrete graphic card. Make a right click and then you can disable it and then enable it. So just click on disable and then make a right click again and then you will see enable. So disable and enable the graphics card driver and then relaunch the game and then check. The next step is to set vsync to zero in config file. Now for this open file explorer. Go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data folder. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder. Open the local folder and open the game folder over here. And over here you can see graphics settings data, make a double click and vsync. If this is set to one, you can set it to zero and then go to file, click on save. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to disable Steam Cloud. Now for this, you can go to Steam, make a right click in the game, go to properties under general tab, turn off the option which says keep my saves in Steam Cloud for Digimon Story Time Stranger. So you can turn off this option and then relaunch the game and then check. Once you are able to launch the game, you if you want, you can enable it once again and then check. Next step is to you can skip this step if you cannot launch the game. But if you are able to launch the game, you can press Alt plus Enter on the keyboard to switch to window mode and lower down video settings and then you can check. Now the next step is to rename the config folder. To rename the config folder, go to the same location. Uh, go to this location. And once you go to the location, you can make a right click. If you want to create a backup, you can copy this. You can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, now you can make a right click and then you can click on rename. All the saved settings will be lost. So rename it. Now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to perform clean installation of a graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So go to go to the website NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find now on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver so scroll down here whichever is the latest graphic card driver you can click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file now once you run the exe file uh, click on agree and continue and then select custom option uh, over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation after the clean installation log into the computer uh, after the clean installation you have to restart your computer first and after the system restart log into the computer and then check still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder so if the game is installed in uh, C drive, you can go to this location and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file over here and then click on add. Once the game is added over here, click on the game and then select high performance over here. You will see your graphic card now launch the game. Still not working, try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So go to Steam and then make a right click on the game. Select properties in the launch option, type in dash DX11. Now you can close this, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, make a right click once again, go to properties. This time you can type in dash DX12, launch the game and then check. Still not working. You can remove this, follow the next step. Now the next step is to verify the game files. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties. Go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to run the game from the game installation folder. Now for this, you can make a right click in the game, select manage, click on browse local files. Now over here, you will see the game in uh, exe. 
you can make a double click and try to launch the game from here. If that does not work, go to properties, make a right click, then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check still not working. Go to properties once again, this time you can select Windows 8 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check if that does not work. You can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. Still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Now when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working, in that case you can uncheck these boxes. Hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection and then scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app click on browse all apps and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder and then select the game exe file over here click on open and now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to system and security windows defender firewall allow an app now click on allow an app to feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings allow another app click on browse again go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this open you can go search in google and go to the microsoft website and on this website scroll down here you can see Visual Studio 2015 to 22 download this x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on x86 and x64 and then once the download is complete you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file Once this is installed, uh, you can click on this file and again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install and after, once both the files are installed, it's taking time in my case, once both the files are installed, restart again there. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to try power saver mode. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options in my case i have only balanced but in your case if you see power saver you can select power saver and then relaunch the game you can even go for balanced and high performance check which one is working fine for you but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to enable or disable uh, hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this you can type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then go to advanced graphics settings now if uh, hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is off you can turn it on relaunch the game and then check if it is already on you can turn it off and then you can relaunch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here and then under advanced click on settings the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here you have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option 
and over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes so you have to calculate as per your RAM and if you face any problem we can always revert back to the settings so do not worry about it so for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024 that is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then 3 times multiplied 3 that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that it hits set and then click on OK and then OK okay now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in via advanced system settings again and then click on via advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on okay click on okay over here hit apply click on okay okay you will see restart option restart your computer and then check still not working we will revert to default so you can type in view advanced system settings once again settings advanced change and put a check on this box and then hit apply click on ok follow the next step now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update and security click on check for update once everything is updated now click on restart just make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10 percent and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS after the BIOS, BIOS update log into the computer and then you can launch the game and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working make a right click in the game manage uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart your computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive then try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel